was a Phil playing with a player. I mean, you got a lot of, you know, sort of bad in the team, but how does it feel playing with a player like Ball that kind of frees you up a little bit? Yeah, it's uh, it's awesome. There's so much uh, less pressure on me uh, as an offensive player. Uh, I get to do what I do best and, and run off screens and shoot the basketball and uh, really focus in on that. And so I think that's why uh, I think my efficiency will go up. Um, and my percentage will go up just because he finds me when I'm open and I don't have to uh, take as many tough shots as I did uh, in years past. So uh, it's incredible to be able to run away with him running it. Uh, for both of you guys, Coach said he, he thought this was the best shot selection of the season. What do you think has been the key to uh, having better shots? Yeah, I think uh, as a group, we know how talented we are. And, and sometimes it it almost comes easy to us because we know how well we can score the basketball. So um, sometimes we get in, in little routes where we feel like we just go one on one, and that's when we don't score the basketball. So I think we really started to learn to play together, and that's when we get the best shots. Yeah, just off what Bryce said, um, we're definitely starting to learn how to play with each other a lot better. And I think that's something that's helping as well. And sometimes we just get a little too relaxed. Like you said, we score the ball so easily that we get a little relaxed, don't come off screens as hard as we should, don't screen as hard as we should. So once we just get that right mindset. We're even harder to stop than we are. The three pointing was there. Three point shooting was there again tonight. How much of that is the ball movement um, to, to leading into those shots? Yeah, I think uh, it's all about ball movement. Uh, obviously, we got guys that are capable of shooting, but uh, I think if you looked at our San Diego game where we didn't make a three till the second half, I think it was mostly because we weren't moving the ball like we did tonight. So. Uh, I think it's, it's a lot about that, and it's a lot about establishing big fella here and Tom inside. That way they have to come off us a little bit. Pat Riley was here tonight. Did you guys notice that sitting behind your bench? Yeah, you can't, it's hard to not notice him <laughs> when he's in the building. Is that, how is that, is that what makes it a little bit more fun when, when a guy like that's at your game watching? Uh, you would think so, but playing at a place like this, there's people at our games all the time, you know, so it's whether it's Baron Davis or Pat Riley or Jess Galva, whoever's here, you know, it's, it's cool to have somebody here. Well, she was here before. I know she was. And I noticed. Do <laughs> you have a favor of that group? Uh, <laughs> Pat Riley will go <laughs> For Bryce, uh, the three-point shooting, you know, you all shot so well in the season opener and so well tonight. Is there anything more to that than just streak shooting and, and, and feeding off those those makes? Yeah, I think uh, we're definitely a team that if we hit a couple early, uh, we can get really hot. I think that's something that uh, that we've shown early, and I think you'll see that if, if we hit a couple early, uh, we become really hard to guard because uh, guys get in a rhythm and stuff like that. But like I said, uh, when we move the ball and share, we got a ton of guys that can make shots. After a game like this, will you guys kind of wait till Sports Center's on to see if some of those plays actually get on there? Yeah, I was I was joking in the locker room because I just, last time when Lonzo was number one after game one, uh, I told him as soon as we got to the bench, I was like, dude, you're going to be number one. And then I was talking to TJ, I was like, you might be one, two, and three. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's, it's really fun the way we're playing the basketball. Any other questions in the back? Uh, Bryce, with how this team seems a little bit longer to sit across all positions. We have somebody like TJ is able to attack off the dribble at his size. How much does that kind of open up the floor for you? Yeah, it opens a ton. Like I said, when we can establish the ball inside, uh, whether it's Tom, TJ, GG, whoever, uh, we can get the ball inside. It, it doesn't make them come off me, but it makes them uh, just help a little bit. Because if, if they don't, we just keep going inside. And uh, I think you've seen that against these smaller teams. We've been able to feed TJ and Tom inside. And, uh, they really haven't had an answer for it. Uh, so as that goes on, as the game goes on, they start the guards start to creep in a little bit, and that helps me. Hey, TJ, what kind of style points do you give to uh, Lonzo and, and Aaron on that, that dunk right there off the glass? Um, you can definitely see it coming. I mean, with, with Aaron running like that, really unselfish player, and then Lonzo trailing, you could just see it coming. And I think it was his third best dunk, that's for sure. I mean, the other two were... <laughs> were Definitely, I think they should be in Sports Center um, top ten. We'll see about that one, but I mean, yeah, there were definitely three pretty crazy dunks. Any other questions? All right, thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you.